Welcome back to the Gravity Rush Remastered Speedrunning Beginner's Guide. This is episode 8, and this is the No Debt Route. So episode 8 is another Rift episode. There's going to be a lot of movement and a lot of combat, uh, and then it's going to end with the boss Raven, which is our first kind of humanoid boss. I'll talk about her move, her uh, capabilities, and kind of how her invincibility and everything. Alright, so you're just going to head straight ahead. You're going to kick right past this building, and then you're going to see Gabe like immediately here. Don't run into that. That's okay. <clears throat> Alright, so first we got the bridge here. Uh, it is most, like, optimal to kick across the bridge and collect as many gems as possible. You can slide if you're just starting out and you don't feel comfortable kicking, because the kicking that close to the ground, you might bonk into it a bunch of times and it might lose you more time than you would save by kicking. Uh, also, don't worry too much about gem collection here. If you miss a couple tens here and there, that's fine. Just keep going. It's better than like turning around and going back to turn around again. So uh, just try to get the big collections of lines of gems. Okay, this first fight is two lancers, a frog, and a snail. Um, you pretty much want to RGK everything. You can grab an object to break the snail shell if you want, um, but it's not necessary. Both of the Lancers drop 10 gems, so I'll pick those up you can. Uh, well, after this, you're just going to follow the line, like the flower beam. Uh, there's tons of blue gems and tons of gems in the way, so pick up as many as you can along your path. Okay, so we're gonna kill this flyer up here. We're gonna try to double kick the flower down here. Got it. Pick up an object, <clears throat> and if you can, double kick the flower here. If you don't feel comfortable, you can always chuck the object at the flower. Don't get hit, because um, then you'll drop it. A little slower, but that's okay. As long as I can reach the blue gem without running out of gauge. I'm okay. I want to keep this object to try to break, kill the flyer uh, at the other end of this tunnel. So again, you can slide here if you don't feel comfortable uh, kicking just yet, because you do kind of want to remain... There's a lot of lava in the way, and you want to try to pick up as many gems as you can, uh, but kicking is definitely faster. We're going to kill this flyer here. I'm going to chuck this down. Okay. So this is the first time we fight golems. They have a lot of gems to break, uh, but they're also pretty stationary and rapid gravity kicks just kind of absolutely destroy them so they're not too much to worry about all right and then we're gonna land here pick up gravity typhoon <clears throat> and immediately after that we're gonna have a menu where we upgrade gauge usage gravity typhoon and stasis fields stasis gauge usage gravity typhoon and stasis Double kick this guy, and then we're gonna... so the both of the flyers drop a blue gem, and both of these puffers drop 25. So try to grab the 25s from the puffers if possible, uh, and then you might need one of the blue gems from the flyers just to get enough gauge to make it all the way over here. Grab this blue gem, pick up these tens. Don't even worry about the one that's there; it's not worth it. And grab this 25, and then we're gonna start the Raven fight. All right, so there's gonna be a text box right before Raven comes up. Okay, so with Raven, uh, the first thing you want to do is pretty much just mash triangle to get a spiral claw. It's going to push her against the wall. When she's up against the wall, she'll kind of have like this knockdown animation, and you can kick her three times while she's against the wall. 
uh, pretty in pretty rapid succession. Not like instantly because she kind of gets pushed back a little bit, but uh, you can kick her really fast three times. Once she does that, she's gonna kind of like like blow you off if you're close to her, and then she's gonna start flying, and then you have to kick her three more times. Uh, and each time you kick her, she's gonna like fly off with invincibility and you have to wait out the timing and then kick her as soon as she's like stationary. The timing will kind of come, it's about like a second, um, but you'll understand the timing as you fight her more. And then the third kick that you do is going to shoot her either off in the distance or to the ground if she, if you kick her like in the direction of either the ground or the wall and then if she lands, she'll land on the ground again. Uh, she'll get in that grounded state. And then it only takes like one more kick to kill her, so I'm going to show this. So we're just going to mash triangle to push her up against the wall here. Then we got one, two, and three. And she's going to fly off. I'm going to kick her. I'm going to fly again. Kick. Oh, I missed the timing just barely. Kick. Fly. And kick. This one's going to send her pretty far off. And she didn't hit the ground, so... There we go. And that's going to be the last hit. If she does hit the ground, sometimes it's a little bit easier to hit her. And she always flies up to this Ferris wheel, so as soon as she stops there, you're just going to hit triangle. That's going to be that. Um, so the cutscene skip here is cat, cat like crossing her arms like that. So as soon as it's like that, that's going to be when we skip. And then that's going to be the end of episode 8, and that's going to be the no debt route. Uh, so if you have any questions, of course, ask them in the comments below, and I will see you in the next episode.